Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Apple on Thursday said its earnings in the final three months of last year set new records, with sales of its flagship iPhone X topping its expectations. The California-based technology giant reported that profit climbed to $20 billion, roughly RS. 1.28 left crores, on revenue that increased 13% to $88.3 billion, roughly RS. 5.66 left crores, during the period. We're thrilled to report the biggest quarter in Apple's history, with broad-based growth that included the highest revenue ever from a new iPhone lineup, said Apple Chief Executive Tim Cook. If an X surpassed our expectations and has been our top selling if an every week since it shipped in November. By Tabula sponsored content. Don't pay more than this for a four star hotel room save 70 com. However, Apple reported that overall if and sales in the quarter of 77.3 million were about a million fewer than the same period the year earlier. But if and revenues rose 13% from a year ago, suggesting its newer models were gaining traction. The earnings for the first quarter of Apple's financial year come amid concerns over weak demand for the newest and most expensive iPhone X, the 10th anniversary edition of the iconic smartphone. Revenue growth from iPhone sales rose in all regions, and it was the top selling smartphone overall in mainland China, according to Cook. It was a stellar quarter for iPhone, Cook said. iPhone X was the most popular. Apple also forecasts revenue of between $60 billion, roughly RS. 3.84 let crores, and $62 billion, roughly RS. 3.97 let crores, in the current quarter, an outlook less rosy than analysts have expected. Apple shares dipped and then rose more than 3% to $173.40, roughly RS. 11,115, in aftermarket trades that followed the release of the earnings figures. Spotlight off Iphone Despite Apple's spectacular trajectory in the decade since the introduction of the Iphone, the California technology titan is facing challenges on whether it can continue growth. Apple's image has been proved by revelations that it updated its mobile software to slow the performance of old Iphones as batteries weaken from age. While the Iphone delivered the bulk of revenues, $61.6 billion, roughly RS. 3.95 lakh crores. In the quarter, the Q segment of services saw revenue growth of 18% to $8.5 billion, roughly RS. 54,500 crores. The other product segment which includes the Apple Watch and Apple TV, increased 36% to $5.5 billion, roughly RS. 35,250 crores. Cook spent much of an earnings call with analysts playing up increasing revenue from Apple services, digital content, subscriptions, and products other than iPhones. The number of Apple devices being used in the world as of January is at an all-time high of 1.3 billion, the ranks having grown 30% during the past two years, according to Apple. That number speaks to the strength of the product, the loyalty of the customer, the strength of the ecosystem. It also obviously fuels the services business, Cook said. While different sales are at the heart of Apple's money-making machine, the company has taken to spotlighting revenue from the App Store, a cloud, Apple Music, iPads and other content and services people tap into using its devices. Where's the wow? Neil Saunders, managing director of research firm Glabel to Retail, saw worrying trends behind Apple's record-breaking quarterly earnings. The number of infants sold decline, and people overall seem to be waiting longer to upgrade to new smartphones, the analyst noted. He saw the slowdown in infant sales as a sign that Apple isn't coming up with the kind of innovation set out consumers. We believe that the clear blue water that once existed between Apple and rivals is much diminished, Saunders said. The company has time to reopen the gap, but to do so, it needs to pull something new and unique out of its hat sooner, rather than later.